You've been accustomed to seeing Susan St. James on Name of the Game, but this season on NBC, you're going to see her in Macmillan and Wife, and she co-stars with Rock Hudson. Susan, it's very nice of you to give up your Sunday to be with us, and we appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Nice of course, uh, Susan won an Emmy for doing Peggy on Name of the Game, and I always like to ask stars who win big awards like Emmys and Oscars where they keep the Emmy. My father's got mine. I had it for about a year, and then uh, when I was nominated the second year, he said, well, you could give me that one, because maybe you'll win it again. You know, That way it'll be good luck. <laughs> so he's had it ever since. They live in Illinois, and it's kind of fun for them, you know. So they keep it there. More people go through their living room than go through mine, so more people see it that way. Well, we hope that uh, what your father said is uh, it does come true for you, that you get more to add to that one. Susan, let's talk a little bit about your role in Macmillan and Wife. Just what kind of a person is Sally? She's sort of kind of like um, Peggy Maxwell grown up a little bit, you know. She's still just as nutty and such as goofy, you know, but she's married to Rock Hudson and they and they live a very sophisticated life, you know, because they have a nice house. He's the commissioner of police. And so uh, it's kind of fancy. She wears nice clothes and everything, but she's still just as nutty. She can't get anything done. She doesn't do anything right. She gets them involved in all of her terrible happenings, you know. And it's kind of a comedy mystery, you know. Susan, is th uh, this character anything at all like Susan St. James? Well, I think the way that my style of acting is, you know, is, is uh, most everything I do is really mostly part of me, you know, but still as a characterization. You know, I might run around in blue jeans all day long, you know, but, Peg but uh, Sally McMillan never would, you know. So she's different because I'm performing her, but she's a lot of my own characteristics, you know, that way makes her real human and nice, you know. I think, of course, everybody, the first thing every fan I know would ask you, Susan, is what is it like to work with Rock Hudson? So I'll, I'll speak for all those fans out there and ask you, what is it like? <laughs> Terrific. He's just, uh, I'd always heard, you know, when I, since I came to Hollywood and working at Universal, where Rock was for 13 years, you know, before he stopped his contract and started doing other things, that he was just the nicest man in the whole world, you know, and everybody always told me this. And once I saw him in the commissary, and he looked very nice, but I never met him, you know. When I started working with him, you know, it was just uh, just a pleasure. I mean, he's just sensational to work with, you know, he's so nice, and he's just been doing it so long that he's so relaxed, you know, and it's just, it's fabulous, because I'm real relaxed and real casual when I work, and so is he, and it's nice, because we get, also helps with the part, you know, because we're both really relaxed and having a good time at the same time as that we're working, so the, the characters come out real friendly and kind of funny, and it's really great. I remember the first time I met him, I didn't really know what he was going to be like, and I try not to have preconceived notions, but I'll tell you for sure, I wasn't prepared for him to be so open and so warm and yeah. so friendly and so approachable. Oh, yeah, and he's just uh, he's just eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, you know, and I mean, he's just, <laughs> just exactly like all of us, you know, I mean, he's not gourmet at all, you know, it's really great. He's a midnight snack eater, you know, like all of us, it's great. There was some talk in the very beginning of the series and the casting of you, Susan, that maybe you were too young to play opposite Rock, and he was kind of bothered by that a yeah, little, wasn't we, he? I, see, all that went by down before I came home. I was in Europe doing a picture, and when I came back, uh, I went to see him, and I started doing the part right after that. But they had been going through all kinds of things. Who should we get? How old? What, what kind of girl? And everything. And I was busy, and so they didn't even think of me, you know. And then when we started doing it, that, those things were all solved right away because it just, the, the chemistry was there, you know. If you have that, nobody stops to think, well, how old and what's her age and what's her time and everything else like that. So it worked out perfectly. What know? was this movie that you did in Europe? I did, I did at that time I was a pilot. I did a little film called um, uh, Magic Carpet. I played a tour guide all over Italy. And we did it in eight cities all over Italy. And we had a wild cast, Wally Cox and Jim Backus and Henny Backus and Nanette Fabre and all kinds of people on the bu on the bus, and I was taking them all around, you know, in one of those, uh, if this is Tuesday, it must be, who Oh, knows well, where. that's just what I was going to say. Is it a spin-off from that film? No, I don't think it was, but it was the kind of thing where I played a young girl that was bilingual, that was living in, well, I was multilingual, living in Italy, and, and then I got this summer job, you know. It was a disaster, of course, you know. It was really funny. It was lots of fun to do, but I think this one is much more important, so they decided they'd use me in this one instead after I did the pilot, you know. At that, at that point, I don't know. Either of them were so... Susan, if you were going to uh, live someplace else other than the United States, what country might you choose? 
Well, I don't think I would, but if I, I mean, I love it here, you know, especially California, you know, any place where there's no, if there, I could find a place without smog, that's where I'd go, you know, but uh, I lived in France for three years, really had a good time when I was living there, I spoke French and worked there, and I liked it very much, but when you live in a country, see, I've lived in Europe long enough to know that when you live in a country and you're raised in a country, that's really sort of where you belong, that's what I believe, you know. I think you're you're the most comfortable there, and, and uh, who can who can argue with this? It's so beautiful. Here. So what you're saying is the USA is okay for you. Yeah. Susan, yeah. thank you very much for talking with us today, and we wish you the best of luck in your new series with Rock Hudson, McMillan, and White. Thank you very much.